Samdej Fra Buddhacharn To Framrang Si of Wat Rikanko Zataram. He was the one of the most Buddhist monks during Thailand's early Ritanakasan period and continues until at the present time. Thais and all people over the world called him in short name as Luang Pu To, or Samdej To. His images and statues are some of the most widespread religious icons in Bangkok. He is widely revered in Thailand as a monk who is said that he possessed magical powers and his amulets are widely sought after or commonly called Phra Somdej Wat Rakang. Samdej To was born on the 17th of April 1788, be 2331, and passed away on the 22nd of June 1872, be 2415, at the age of 84 years. He was ordained novice in 1800, be 2343, at the age of 12 and ordained as a monk in 1807, B.E. 2350, at Wat Fraser Eritanasadsadaram at the age of 21. He spent his lifetime after entering in Buddhist novice and monkhood for studying about Buddhist scriptures, meditation practice and on pilgrimage in various places. In 1852, B.E. 2395, King Rama IV or King Mongkut, he was given the title of Phra Maha To for the first time which was the Cardinal, Phra Thamakiti, and served as the abbot of Wat Rakang Kasidaram at the age of 65 years old. Two years later, around the year 1854, he was promoted to the higher ranking as Phra Tep Krawi. Ten years later or around the year B. 1864, His Majesty King Rama IV was graciously pleased to establish the title of Samdej Phra Buddhachan. This title is the highest rank and the last rank that he received and stayed at Wat Rakang Kasidaram until the day of his death. He made and blessed top famous Phra Samdej Wat Rakang between 1837 to 1872, B.E. 2380, 
1.2415, around 150 to 180 years ago. His all Somdej amulets were blessed and chanted by Somdej To and other highly revered monks with Chinna Bankarn Katha or Jinapanjara chanting which is known as the most powerful Katha and protective magical incantation. Magical power in Fra Somdej will help enhance prosperity, good fortune and wealth, popularity, vigor wellness and protection from bad sickness, warding off disaster and danger with safe traveling. Dhamma puzzle in three tiered bases of Fra Somdej. Do you know what do they mean? Actually, Somdej Wat Rakang three tiered bases are a group of three tables that one top another one. Some collectors call them ladders. The meaning of three-tiered base is three ultimate truth or three marks of existence. Three marks of existence are important as they can help Buddhists to achieve Nibbana or Nirvana and end suffering. They are called Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta. First tier is Anicca, changing or instability. Everything is always changing or known as impermanence. For example, once a human is born, they will grow and develop and eventually become an adult until at some points they will no longer exist. Everyone grows older and changes. Second tier is dukkha, sufferings or dissatisfaction or frustrate in change. People suffer because they cannot accept change. Why do people suffer? Firstly, emotional and physical pain. Birth, aging, illness, injury death, sorrow, association with unbeloved. Separation from the loved, not getting what is wanted or disappointed or dukkha. Secondly, in life things don't stay the same and always changing which can cause suffering. For example, people don't want getting old, but physical must be old, injury and death finally. Thirdly, people are attached to themselves and material possessions. 
When they lose these things, the suffer. Buddhists try to realize that people cannot hold on to everything in life as this will bring about suffering. Third tier is anatta, emptiness. Anatta is the idea that humans have non-self because nothing is permanent and always change. When existing body is lost, what happening in I is vanished. Life is emptiness. No self and no ego personality remain. The anatta is key to the concept of nirvana. When people accept that they are changing beings, people can only come closer to enlightenment. Dhamma puzzle in three-tiered base of Fra Samdej is considering in three marks of existence. The common law of all things are subjected to the rule of arising, existing, and extinguishing. These are the truth that Luang Pu To would like to leave with all people and next generation around the world to understand the Dharma of Lord Buddha.